We're back on Boilermaker Special, The Rebuild. I'm joined by the guy in charge himself, head coach Daryl Hazel. Coach, thanks for coming in. Uh, we appreciate your time, as always. Well, it's great to be here. It's always good to spend time with you guys. Yeah. One year ago today, we were sitting here. You were only a couple days away from your first game as head coach at Purdue. Does it seem like a year has gone by since then? It's just amazing how fast things go. I mean, just talk about all the things that have transpired within the last 365 days. Nuts. A little uh, tougher now, I guess. We showed a graphic earlier in our show about the season ticket sales. Mm -hmm. um, they were at 30,000, seeing a little jump in your first year from the previous year, mm -hmm. um, 20 uh, to 19,000 as of Monday. When you hear that, what do you think? Well, I think that the fans are going to come out and watch us this fall, and they're going to immediately fall in love with this football team. It's a different football team. And I understand, uh, you know, when you don't play as well as you like to play that first year, that you're going to get a diminishing return. But uh, they're going to really enjoy watching this team play. You talked at Big Ten Media Day about a month ago saying it's time to rip off the rear view. I kind of like that expression. Um, what's the significance of the timing of that? Why was that the time to rip the rear view? Well, view yeah, off? I, I think that so many times we get hung up with looking back. What happened? What, instead of worrying about the things that we can control right now, and there's a lot of things that we can control that's in front of us. There's nothing that we can control that's behind us. And I think that the message, the strong message was, we got to look, stop looking in the rearview mirror and start looking out the windshield. We've heard a lot about from you and your players about you guys' attitude um, and the atmosphere around the program this off season, and that has changed from the previous year. Why, why the change, and how has that helped you? Everything is different. Everything, I mean, first of all, they understand our expectations now. Uh, our locker room is one that you can go into now. You can see guys that are interacting with each other. They're laughing. They're having a good time in the locker room. And then they hold each other accountable, which is something that you need to have in, in a program that, that does well. Uh, they brought each other in. They've studied together. They've helped each other get better. They've gotten a lot bigger in the weight room. And their confidence is through the roof right now. How long did it take to, to regain that, that positive mode of thinking after a season like that? You know, I thought that the biggest meeting we've had perhaps since I've been here was the meeting right after the season last year. And we talked about the strong overtake in the week and the right overtake in the wrong. And I wanted them to think about that through the month of December as they went home. And then they came back in January with a totally different attitude, mindset, and uh, I like where they are right now. As far as the, the X's and O's of your team, what's the single area that you can um, get the most improvement out of your team heading into this season? I think, you know, if you look at our schemes, we've changed our schemes a little bit to help our personnel. Uh, before we were a button down offense, a lot of two back, one tight end, two wide outs. Now we're going to spread the field, try to, you know, use 53 and a third and try to stretch them vertically, I think that's going to help us because you have Akeem and you have Raheem. And uh, Danny can did distribute the ball to those guys as well as all the wide outs. I think that's going to help us. Your second tenure, or second year in your tenure here, uh, a quarterback battle the first year, quarterback battle this year. How close was it between Danny Etling and Austin Appleby? Well, I thought Austin did an unbelievable job making a push at him. And uh, when we came out of the spring, Danny was clearly ahead. Uh, but Austin worked extremely hard, closed the gap, and made it a real competition. And uh, it went back and forth and back and forth. And, I, and they both did a great job, which was the, the nice thing. What are your, your realistic expectations for this team? I, I know as a coach, some, some coaches put numbers on it, some don't. But what are your expectations? The thing you want to see is our team to come out and play with passion, play hard, and uh, good things will happen from that. And you know, Obviously, you want to be gap sound on defense and do all the things that you're capable of doing and put the people in the right places to make those plays that you need to have on both sides of the ball, and uh, uh, you'll like the result. Last year, I made the mistake of asking you about Ohio State, a game in the middle of the season, um, as opposed to the first game in the first week. Uh, so with that, I'll stick with game one this year. Western Michigan, your team needs to do blank to come out with a 1-0 a and record after this weekend. I think we just got to play Boilermaker football. And to me, that's you're playing fast, you're playing confident, you're being physical on defense, and uh, we're able to run the ball offensively when we have to be able to run the ball and, uh, and don't turn it over. Well, Coach, uh, thank you for your time and best of luck this season. We'll get you out of here on this. We had some fun with your four new captains uh, this past Friday. Uh, 
Would it surprise you that there were some mixed answers to when we asked them, who is Dave Butts? What, would it surprise me? If, yeah, if there were some mixed answers from some of your captains. Um, no, those guys are all pretty astute. I would think they would all know who Dave So Butts you were banking is. on all four of them All to know. four of them, yes. Okay, well, we'll see those answers coming up next. Ross and I keeping it light with the four newest leaders of Purdue football. Thanks again, Coach, and uh, we'll be right back. Thank you.